Hey everybody, welcome to the Did You Know series of videos on Trend Micro Tipping Point Solutions. Today we wanted to talk about how to maximize the security effectiveness of your IPS deployment uh, against the known threats and known vulnerabilities that you have in your environment. So my name is Russ, I'm one of the product managers here at Tipping Point. I'm here with Corey, manager of the security research team at Trend Micro. Uh, Corey, when we talk about threats, how many uh, filters, how many known uh, vulnerabilities do we cover today? Well, Russ, we've got about, you know, tens of thousands of filters covering thousands and thousands of CVEs, known vulnerabilities. Yeah, with the known vulnerabilities, one of the things that I, I find in my role is we come across a lot of customers that have employed countermeasures in terms of detecting those security vulnerabilities. Uh, following a, a maybe a framework like the SANS critical security controls, uh, one of which is continuous vulnerability assessment and remediation. Um, to me, that's security intelligence as well, right? These are knowing where your risks and where your vulnerabilities are in your environment. Um, just to maybe another question, Corey, when we talk about the threats, I know you guys do a lot of research on zero days to malware toolkits. Um, when you talk about the kinds of vulnerabilities that a phone scanner may find in your environment, um, how does that rate in terms of importance in an organization? Uh, it's extremely important. I mean, most most vulnerabilities that get exploited are known vulnerabilities. They've existed for a while. You don't see a lot of zero days actually going out and being exploited. What you want to cover is the known vulnerabilities, the known holes in your network, and you use the extra resources to cover zero days. All right, so you told me there's tens of thousands of filters. Um, we have an important set of security intelligence in the form of the vulnerability scans. Um, so we wanted to take that combination and make that extremely actionable so you could protect yourself from some of those most, those most important vulnerabilities and security risks in your environment. So one of the features here that I'm gonna walk uh, you through is uh, the ability to import those vulnerability scans. Uh, we've partnered with Rapid7, Qualys, Tenable uh, to import those assessments into uh, your tipping point deployment and at a glance, within just a few seconds, show what vulnerabilities are in your environment, on what assets, what tipping point filters can provide a countermeasure to that attack, and where you've turned those filters on or off. In other words, where you're protected or not protected here. Just on the screen here, you'll see that uh, we have an asset here, this IP address, vulnerable to uh, a list of CVEs here, and I could kind of scroll through the list and you'll see a whole bunch. Um, and at a glance, you can see I'm not protected in a few of my uh, profile sets. So really quickly, how do I get through those tens of thousands of filters without spending all day uh, reviewing filter by filter? Well, I could quickly prioritize picking uh, maybe my core deployment um, and select the filters that are most relevant to the vulnerabilities I have in my environment as identified by that vulnerability scan. So let's say really quickly, I've got a few hundred filters identified. Uh, maybe really quickly, I wanna focus on uh, exploits and vulnerabilities and maybe only the high severity ones uh, really quickly uh, critical severity ones here on the call and I can just real quickly turn these on turn these filters on to block uh, and within a few seconds I've identified the filters that are the most important and uh, turn those on to a blocking posture one of the things we'll also do is show you which CVEs uh, we can't provide coverage for, and that might be for a simple reason, and that these are maybe not network exploitable vulnerabilities. Uh, and at a glance, quick summary, and I can finish off and distribute this to my deployment. Uh, so just really quickly there, we imported a bone scan, took a look at uh, where we needed to add protection, and I'm going to show you one last thing here. If I hop over, Corey, to uh, our dashboard, um, we'll then use this information on the reporting side to highlight uh, where those critical assets with vulnerabilities are being protected. Um, so if I look at these two hosts, might have seen tens of thousands of attempts, but ultimately I've protected two hosts uh, in this environment from a vulnerability that would have been successful if it wasn't for your tipping point IPS. So we blocked these 27,000 hits against this uh, vulnerability against this host. Um, so it's a quick quick walkthrough of the feature. Um, 
to show you how to find those most important filters in your environment. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Tune back in. Did you know video series where we help you manage your deployment and improve the security effectiveness of your tipping point trend micro infrastructure. <laughs>